Right, and of all the flights of Southwest United and American coming here to PBIA today, we were able to identify a 1737 MAX that was due to arrive at 530 from Baltimore, but then was delayed. And according to FlightAware, it was changed out to a different type of plane and now is arriving at 730 tonight. So the much talked about Boeing 737 MAX essentially grounded around the world and now the United States no longer allowing the planes to fly. Up until President Trump's announcement today, U.S. carriers Southwest and American Airlines both operated the MAX 8 and were not indicating they had any plans to stop. It is the same style of plane that went down Sunday in Ethiopia and five months ago in Indonesia. There were no survivors from either flight. We talked to travelers here at Palm Beach International about the president's decision. I think it's the proper thing to do based on what has happened. Mm -hmm. Two unknown caused. And uh, although I don't agree with the president on very much. But you do agree on this. On this one I do. The U.S. has been slow to ground these planes. Earlier today, Canada's transport minister banned the 737 MAX from its airspace as well. In a statement released from Boeing tonight, the company says Boeing has determined out of an abundance of caution and in order to reassure the flying public of the aircraft's safety to recommend to the FAA that temporary suspension of operations of the entire global fleet of 371-737 MAX aircraft. And we found on the Southwest website tonight the uh, aircraft uh, carrier is uh, urging you that if you do need to rebook or cancel your flight, that you do so online because they are simply being flooded with calls. Live at PBIA, I'm Terry Parker. Back to you.